That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? My name is Anthony Parker, your host for this evening, where we still make changes, no excuses. I want to send a shout out to Nicole from Rose Colored Glasses, my co-host, and to my other friends, um, Kenyatta from She's Blind, and uh, Comedians See No Evil. I need to check these individuals out on YouTube. <clears throat> Guide Dogs versus Canes. This session concludes the series. And because of that, I'm bringing a very special treat along. Today, I'm speaking with Yadira. I hope I don't butcher the name. Is that correct? Yadira. Yadira, okay. Mm -hmm. She's a native of Texas who has been visually impaired since birth due to optic nerve hypoplasia. She works as a producer for the Lighthouse for the Blind in Texas. And uh, she is the owner of a lovely guide dog, Deja, who she has had for over nine months. She's here today to talk about her guide dog amongst other things. So welcome Yadira to the show. What's up girl? Yadira was very excited about getting her guide dog Deja. Let's check it out. Um, is she a Labrador? She is. So, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. We got some of her information here. So she's she's a black lab, and she was born December twenty eighth of two thousand sixteen. Her dad's name is Gonzalo, and her mom is Tetris. Uh -huh. And she's about twenty two and a half inches tall. And she's probably around 53 pounds, and we'll weigh her again later. But that was a while ago. Oh, yeah. She's so excited. Of course, she's excited. She Very excited. <laughs> the beginning of something special. Girl. Oh, she's scratching her Yeah. <laughs> oh, so she's great. So sweet. She's very sweet. Oh, my good girl. Let's check Here out the bond. I'm like literally crying because I would have never okay. thought this would have happened, really. Here's Deja. And your devil. New energetic dog. Beginning of something very special. She's looking right at me. Uh oh. Barking. Let's check out more so, with Yadira and Deja. So, um, I have optic nerve hypoplasia and I was born with it. Um, I do see a little bit, but I have trouble with like um, finding the steps and um, I used to not use a cane when I was uh, younger. Um, I started using a cane when I was in the ninth grade, um, which like for other teenagers is like, no, I don't, I really don't want to use it. Like, no. But for me, it was like, I hate falling. And mm. I was like, I'd rather use a cane. Like, I don't care what other people say. I'd rather just use it. Okay. And then, um, Later on in life, I decided to get my first guide dog, Uno, which she is retired. And now I have this beautiful uh, guide dog here. Uh, lab, uh, mostly the types of dogs that they use for, uh, for guide dog purposes? Um, I think most of the time they do, but I have seen other schools that use like Labradoodles, um, German Shepherds, um, but I think these are used the most because they are like very um, patient and they are used to like loud sounds and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably why they 
use these guys a lot more. But they use um, golden retrievers and, um, you know, dogs like Give that. us a, a, a brief history about why you chose a guide dog as opposed to uh, using, you know, you say you did use a cane in the beginning, but what, what prompted you to move from you know, using the cane to getting your a guide dog? This is very interesting. Let's listen. Uh -huh. I do like using a cane, but it, I noticed that it would like slow me down a lot. So then I just said, you know what? I feel like, and I think since I was a kid, I was like, one of these days I'm going to have a guide dog. And then the time came where I was able to have a guide dog. I think I was like 25 at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, using my cane was, it was fun and everything, but then it would slow me down. Um, sometimes the tip would get stuck somewhere. A lot of blind people feel this and way. There was one time where I actually flipped over onto my cane. Oh, wow. <laughs> and fell down because <laughs> it got stuck. And, you know, sometimes I try to walk really fast. And oh. that's what the, the guide dog does. It, it, it allows you to walk a lot faster. And uh, a guide dog will go around the obstacle, whether than using the cane um you have to go towards that obstacle to know that it's there pretty much that's a very good okay. thing you know traveling could be so a this very is pretty much our task daily routine monday through friday but deja makes it very going on the bus when she and taking four, four buses, buses to get to work let's check it out so right now we are taking paratransit the first bus Dacia is helping me up the ramp. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? And then she helps me to a seat. And here we are at the Odessa Mall. Just waiting on Odessa Connect. It's usually a bus but lately it's been nothing but vans I thought I saw the bus or the van but a bit worse. on this clip we are getting on Odessa Connect and it's um a big bus and then she helps me to a seat just like that good job uh, does having a guide dog make you feel like less independent for the simple fact that what you mentioned earlier, they help you uh, not really run into I uh, obstacles or items and stuff. They help you more, um, you know, of maneuvering around them and you feel more more freely. Do they make you less independent, do you think? Or what, what's your opinion on that? Um, I, to me, I feel like it makes me more independent because um, I'm able to run with her. She loves running. Okay. So, you know, I feel like free, like, oh, yeah, I'm able to run. Because it's mm. hard to do that with the cane, to be able to just freely run and run through the stretch of the sidewalk or whatever. Mm. And mm. it's so much fun being able to do that with the dog. Yadira enjoys grooming her dog because this is bonding time. Let's take a look and listen. She has a lot of skin up here. <laughs> Take care of your animal, and your animal will definitely return the favor. Okay. Almost done. Okay. Yeah, I'm done with that one. Got to keep the breath smelling clean. Can you brush your teeth? <laughs> You're just eating little chicken flavored toothpaste, huh? Let me brush your teeth. Yum, yum, <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> there you go. I wanted to know what happens if a dog doesn't listen. Um, Let's see what well, she says. The dog isn't isn't um, paying attention to the corrections at all. Mm -hmm. Then. Yeah, yeah. That's 
that's the time for you to get a new one. But if you're able to get it to focus again, then, you know, stick with that dog because, you know, if okay. she's able to listen to you, then that's a good thing. Okay. We were talking about protection earlier. Are guide dogs trained to uh, attack? Or how, do, how, does it, how, does it, how does it work whenever they come in contact with someone who's aggressive to them? I mean, I know they have their instinct, they growl, but what are they taught, the animals themselves? Um, they are not taught to be protective, but I know if, like, someone was, you know, decided to be aggressive towards me, I'm pretty sure she would do something about it. Either mm -hmm. back me up or, or make me run or attack them. Oh, okay. um, I don't know, but um, they're not, they are not trained to attack people. Um, mm. But in that occasion, they tell us that if another dog attacks your dog, just let your dog go and have at it. Well, with that being said, I want to tell my subscribers to continue to subscribe to the show. And um, definitely you'll be getting um, intellectual conversations a lot of things as well as demonstrations showing uh blind people in their in their settings how they uh, maneuver how they get around using whatever um they des desire from canes to guide dogs to ira things of that nature so with that being said um i want to definitely thank you for coming on to the show and continue continue much success in what you're doing and tell deja Thank you for uh, being a star. <laughs> and if there's anything else that I can do for you, you let, you let me know.